Hello everybody. Since 7 a.m. today, earthquake activity on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland has increased drastically and continues to do so. Over 100 earthquakes greater than 3 in magnitude have been detected, which is absolutely insane. The earthquakes have been so strong that the road leading from Grindavík to the main road, Keplavíkurvegur, has been closed due to damage. Following this increase in earthquake activity, Iceland's civil defense has declared a level of danger and are, along with experts, paying close attention to the activity. This earthquake spike is most likely due to the magma moving somewhere under the center of activity, but this is not the same spot as in previous weeks. Wherever the magma is, this activity suggests it's moving rapidly, most likely upwards, meaning an eruption could occur at any time now. Let's check out the details. The current earthquake activity is not just west of the Blue Lagoon as it has been for the past two weeks. Instead, activity has shifted a few kilometers east and is centered around an area called Sund Njukagigar, which is an old fissure. An eruption in this area has a higher chance of occurring in a more favorable spot than in the previous area, but there's also a chance it can occur in an even worse spot. I've marked on the screen the favorable spot and the unfavorable spot. The favorable spot would mean that lava would probably never reach Grindavik, but it could reach the Blue Lagoon, if the eruption lasts long. And the terrain doesn't seem to help with the construction of guide walls. If it occurs in the unfavorable spot, lava will flow straight down to Grindavik, giving residents a much shorter time to evacuate. That wouldn't be a first, as Grindavik is built on lava from an eruption that occurred in that area 2,300 years ago. But I've marked the fissure of that eruption. As you can see, it stretched from the unfavorable area to the favorable area. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. The intensity and power of the earthquakes is something we haven't seen on the peninsula since the earthquake series before the first eruption back in 2021, with well over 1,500 earthquakes having struck since midnight, maybe over 2,000. As mentioned earlier, more than 100 earthquakes over 3 in magnitude have struck the area since midnight, with more than 80% of them striking after 3 p.m. 15 of those were more than 4 in magnitude, with the largest being 5.2. I myself hadn't felt a single earthquake since October 25th, but at one point today, I felt strong earthquakes every 3 to 5 minutes. I live quite far from the earthquakes, around 25 kilometers, so you can only imagine how the people of Grindavík feel. To give you an idea, I know people that live in Njarðvík, which is 11 kilometers away from the center of activity, and their house is shaking constantly. To give you an even better idea, here are some video clips captured by people that live in Grindavík. Hey. absolutely insane. As of the making of this video, earthquake activity continues and experts have been paying close attention. This is the activity we've been expecting to see as magma would start to move closer to the surface. But the shift in location was a bit of a surprise. By looking at the public data we have, which is plentiful, we can see that on November 9th, ground began to subside following the large earthquake in the early hours of that same day. These large quakes could have been a trigger that opened a path of least resistance in the east part of the magma seal that allowed magma to move along a horizontal path to the east, partially draining the magma seal, as more magma was flowing out than in. Then, around 7 a.m. today, on November 10th, this path started to lead upwards. But around that time, GPS equipment showed uplift again. And, as it moved upwards, the magma started to enter harder ground, shown in the increased earthquake intensity. 
Then, somewhere around 3 pm today, it hit a blockage, causing a lot of pressure that triggered this powerful activity. This is just speculation, but based on earthquake data, the magma could have made it closer to the surface than it was previously in that seal. Maybe around 2 to 3 kilometers. Satellite images and further analysis of the earthquakes will give us a better idea of the situation. Is an eruption close? Well, this activity basically means an eruption could occur at any time. But we can look back at the eruption that started this all. The eruption of Geltingadalir back in 2021. The earthquake series before that eruption lasted for 24 days before an eruption occurred. From February 24th to March 19th, with the last 2 to 3 days being really calm and the last 24 hours before the eruption being almost silent. We can expect something similar to happen, but the current earthquake series has been ongoing for 16 days, from October 25th to November 10th. I expect that activity around this level could continue for a few more days, and then activity will decrease like we've seen before previous eruptions. So, it could be around a week until we have an eruption. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed, hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.